it's okay to lie. And just to, you know, to spare a life, to save somebody pain. I mean, are those good enough reasons? I'd probably be the wrong guy to ask. Because I lied to my husband about something really important. But I only did it to protect him and our child. Wow. This sounds eerily familiar. Your wife lied to you? Yes. Well, no, she wasn't my wife at the time, but yes, she lied. And she used the same reason that she was protecting me and our child. Well, what happened? Tore me out pretty good. When I found out, it was like... It was like a stake through the heart. The lie that your girlfriend... Natalie. Natalie, the, the lie that Natalie told you, you said that it wrecked you. Does it mean it also ruined your relationship? Mm -hmm. As hard as I tried, I couldn't get past what you did. See? That's how it's going to be with Jason. Oh, wait a minute. You didn't let me finish. You no, know, I lied to him, and I was just trying to save his life. I'm not going to take it back, but he's never going to forgive me. You know, you got to give him some time. Time? Won't the time change things with you and Natalie? Yeah. You know, I was... I was pretty lost for a while, and... In time, we got past it. You got back together? Raising our son. Your son? Wow. You want to see a picture? Okay, of him? Yeah. Yeah? Of course, I'd love to. Okay. Just happen to have one. That's my boy. Oh, wow. He is beautiful. It's my beautiful boy. That's Liam. It's, uh, <laughs> that's the best thing I ever did. And her? You love her? One lie doesn't have to ruin everything. McBain's gonna keep gunning for me. Uh, where is he most vulnerable? Same as you, his family. Who's the redhead? It's Natalie Banks, uh, the mother of John McBain's one-year-old son, Liam. Cute kid. No, I can't come home yet. I was trying to get Star on a plane back to Landview, but she got away from me. You know what? I'm going to make this up to you. I want to get home, I promise. Yeah. Will you put him on? Please, please, please put him on. Okay. Hey. Hey, buddy, it's your dad. I love you too, Leo. Hey, you do me a favor, buddy? Tell your mom I love her. Adorable. Uh, Clearly he gets that from his mother. Uh-huh. Come on. I can never picture you with a child. Oh, yeah? You seem happy. I am happy. Good. This little Liam, is he a good boy? Yeah, Liam's a good boy. Huh. Except when he's not a good boy, and then we just call him spirited. <laughs> I guess he gets that from his mother. Once again, your instincts are right on. Oh, thank God. I haven't lost it. I love Jason, and I'm, I'm doing this for him. All I know is keeping secrets like this, it never ends well. No, this is different from your situation. You know, I don't know about any of that. Natalie lied to me about her son, and she said she was doing it to protect me. Okay, so I, I take it Natalie lied to you about something huge, then? Yeah. You know, she thought she was doing the right thing. You know, we would she would have kept it up forever. She. I'm not planning on keeping this up forever. I'm not going to lie to Jason forever. I want to wait until the DNA test comes in. Hopefully, it says that he's the baby's dad, and then I can soften the blow. I mean, I just want to spare my husband a little bit of pain. What's wrong with that? That's exactly what Natalie said. Do you ever think maybe we don't want to be spared? Liam, well, first thing we're doing when I get home. Boys trip to the zoo. Okay, mom can come too. I don't know. Trial starts today, so hopefully soon. Hey, Natalie, I gotta go. 
I love you too, sweetheart. Bye. Hey. And you have a family. You have people in your life right now who need you. Natalie married a cop. She understands better than anyone why I need to do my job. You seen a picture of my daughter ever? Did I ever show you that? I know you never met her. See, Robin understood. I made it very clear to her when she was a little girl that my work was so important to me. And she accepted that. Your daughter loved you. She looked up to you. Yeah. But we didn't have the life that we could have had. Or we should have had. I miss so much. All those years when she was a teenager. I was gone. For all those years when she needed me. No, not, not by your choice. No, but by the result of choices that I made. Bad bad decisions. Those years with Robin, I won't ever get them back. I don't want you to make the same mistakes that I did. So you should go home while you can. Before you know it, the president is gone too. I won't let that happen. Well, you're doing it right now. Don't you miss Liam and Natalie? I love my family more than anything in this life and beyond. Then go home. You. Out of curiosity, how much does Natalie know about what you're doing here? Not oh, that much, huh? I told you. I never talked about my sister or that time in my life. Even my brother Mike doesn't know the full extent of it. I'm talking about your immediate family. You know, the ones you love and miss. You know, I almost forgot what you were like when you take the gloves off. Am I bleeding? <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I don't expect someone like Natalie to sit passively by while you spend another two months here. Natalie doesn't do anything passively. Okay. Then the only option I see is that, that you open up to her. You're honest with her yeah. about everything. So I just I pick up the phone and I say, hey, honey, by the way, there's this whole aspect of my life I might have neglected to mention. No, in my experience, those kind of conversations... They need to be done face to face. I hate it when you're right. <laughs> okay. You're right. I need to go home and I need. I need to tell Natalie everything that's going on. Good. Yeah. Oh, I must say, I do love a man who can be made to see reason. Oh, do you? <laughs> All right. I'm going home for a few days. You do me a favor. Keep an eye on the situation for me. I assure you, if the opportunity arises to bust Sonny, you'll be the first call I make. I'm coming home, sweetheart. And There's something we need to talk about. Like Have you discussed any of these accidental encounters with Natalie? There's nothing between me and Sam. Just this feeling that you know her from somewhere. Look, I helped her out with something. That's it. Fine, I accept that. But then I'm not the young woman who's the mother of your child. Noted. You were right about going back to Landview. Natalie and I talked things through and we're solid. You're solid? Hmm. So Natalie doesn't have any doubts about you staying away for another two months to investigate Sonny? And you were right. When I told Natalie everything about my sister and how she died, she understands why I have to go after Sonny. But it's got to be some special kind of hell watching the person you blame walk around, you know, living his life. Sonny should have been stopped a long time ago. I agree, yeah. But, you know, if you put him away, I mean, is that going to heal you? Natalie and Liam healed me. Taking down Sonny? That's for my sister.